Okay, I have an ASA Twin V10. Um, it is a six uh, pin lock with gin spool drivers. Um, I don't know if it's counter mill match counter milling, but I'm guessing it is. I'll have to check when we got it. And it's got five sidebar pins that have false gates that interact with the sidebar. Um, this lock uh, I got in the mail today, but I didn't mention that. So pretty happy. Um, and we'll go ahead and try picking. I'm going to try to float pick because uh, a lot of times for these ASA gin or barrel spools, I need the extra tension control as well as for any of these twin sidebars. I often like it just to have. And I'll go around the back so that you guys can see. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at these top pins to see if uh, any of them are binding and kind of get them out of the way because I think you go after the sidebar first, but some of these stop you from getting any um, yeah, you see pin three already. I got a little core rotation from three. Um, and that would stop me from uh, really dropping into any of the gates on the sidebar. So I just make sure that that I'm in the uh, in the spool areas of the top and so that I can get a little bit of rotation out of it. All right, so pin one is springy. Pin two, all right, I got uh, dropped into a, uh, a gate there of some sort. So I'm gonna lift it a little bit more. It feels like a false gate because um, I got a little bit of rotation. I'm using a flag and these pins have like these, they're like half pins at the bottom and the half of the pin is closest to you. All right, so I lifted that up, but I could kind of hear what sounded like top pins falling. So I'm gonna go back to that to just make sure. Two, indeed three feels, yep, little click out of three. It's that third pin. It seems like that that keeps getting in the way. All right, so one, two, three. I'm not feeling anything on the sidebar, so there's gotta be something more up top. One, two, three, four, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm just a little worried that it maybe three is overset. If I feel nothing here, I'm gonna guess it is. All right, so I'm guessing it is. Back off a little, see if I feel anything on the side now. I do, but not enough, only on that first pin. So something is stopping me again. All right, I got a click out of two and a click out of three and a little rotation. Checking the rest. Now let's see. One is uh, not binding. Two is not found three little rotation when I touched three so that one went into a gate I feel four binding a little so I flipped that up five little rotation when I touched it and it's binding so I lifted that a little check one again oh a little more rotation when I touched it feels like it's in a false gate let's try to counter rotate a little just to be able to get it out of that false gate All right, got it up a little. Two. Okay. Go back to feeling one. One feels set. Two is really high, so it's hard to feel when they're really high. I'll assume that's at the top and is set. Three feels set. Four. Another one that's really high, and five. Just lifted that a little. Go back to the beginning. One, I got a little more rotation when I hit that. Okay, that feels good. Two, feels like it's in a false gate there. Let's lift that a little more. Hard to lift. There we go, got it out of the false gate. Three, feels set. Four, feels like we're in a false gate. Try to lift that without dropping everything. Come on, there we go. Oh, and a lot of rotation. So let's just double check these one more time, but I think we got the sidebar set. One, two, three feels good. Four, five feels good. So I think the sidebar is all set. So let's go to top pins. These are all gin, all gins. First one feels binding. Okay, 
second one binding back off just a little and we'll keep going all right here we got a number three I think that's three at least hard time getting under it this is the only pick I brought down so might have been a mistake to only bring one pick down um, all right let's check the front pin one let's say that's okay pin two feels like it's the uh, not set all right two just went up doesn't feel set though okay one two three four five six One, two, it doesn't feel like it's up still. Click out a two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I kind of bounce the, to try to get the gin out of the, I'm guessing, counter milling, um, letting off a little bit of tension at a time until I can get it into setting. One, two, two's down again. Two's back up. Three, four, five, and this one back here, six. I keep letting off more tension, but I'm afraid of dropping everything. But six just doesn't feel set to me. Come on. I'm missing a lot of my tension right now, so I'm kind of on the edge. I don't want to drop this stuff. But this one right here does not feel set. Can't let off much more, ten more, more ten much more tension than this without dropping everything. Put the tension back on and feel my way through this again. One does not feel set. I must have dropped it. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And six. Okay, and it was one. So now we're open. All right. So a little bit mm, meh towards the end. I had a more satisfying pick earlier, but it's open. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on the autofocus so we can zoom out. And got this guy. Get the light out of the way. All right. So. So I got this. We'll go ahead. You can see it's open. Open. <laughs> Lock it up. Now it's locked. Um, take the screws off the back here. I love these mogul cylinders. They're so nice and hefty. Okay, so I've got the uh, little actuator off. Keep stuff together. Uh, I have a key. I have a follower. The only thing you need to catch is the um, the sidebar here. So I cut the sidebar. Put that down for now. So here's the sidebar. And this guy determines the bidding on the side. So he's got. Um, it looks like a. A low cut here, or some mid mid to low here, high there, very low here, high there, and a mostly low here. So fairly low in the front, pretty high, very low, pretty high, and then mid to low on number five. And then there's two springs for that. So we'll get those out. One spring there. Actually, we'll put this over here since there's no no pin seven on this. 
and one spring over here. Okay. Uh, next, we'll take out some top pins. So let's see, how do I want to do this? Pin one, two. And the uh, key is holding in all the sidebar pins. So as long as you leave that in there, you don't have to worry about them flying out. Uh, pin five and pin six. Now we'll go to the, move that over there. We'll grab the bottom pins or the sidebar pins. So there's number five. These are all the same, the sidebar pins, because like I said, the sidebar itself is what's um, determining the bidding for this for the side pins. So these are all the same. They all have, let's see, what do they have? They all have a true gate. Uh, they have a true gate right here. True gate right here. And then there's like, the false gate is just a serration here. So let's see, one, is it just one, one false gate above and below the true gate or serration or whatever you want to call it. If I feel the backside, I can feel three of them. So I guess that this gate is cut right in the middle. Uh, I can't see well enough to tell you, but there's those. They each have a spring in here. You can now take this little protection thing off the front. And the springs are all the same for these. So I'll just dump those. Okay, now we'll go to the driver pins. Uh, well, let, first actually, let's look at this. So on here, there is counter milling here on each. And now we'll go to the driver pins. And these are all these gin bottles. And you want to make sure that they're installed that way around so that the lip is facing towards the key pin. So each of these is the same and the springs are the same on all these. So I'll dump those after. Let's see if you can see a little bit in there. Yeah. I, hope, I don't know if you can see, but all the gin bottles, you want to make sure that they're facing the right way or else you just won't have any fun picking because they'll just act like standards if you have them upside down and there's no fun. And there's the last one. So, And like I said, these are all just same old springs. So we'll go ahead and just dump those. Three, and then we'll show the pins. Six. Okay, so we'll move this out the way. And then we have our pins right here. Put some light down on there. Um, yeah, I mean, you saw those side, the sidebar pins. These are just standard for the key pins and then all gin bottle for the, for the drivers. And that's the Asa Twin V10. Thanks.